in a way where it was um, just reminiscing. You know, I, I think I lost a lot of friends that spent time with me in prison at that time. And I thought of well, how can I do a show to, uh, to pay tribute to them. Now, paying tribute to somebody in prison, well, but they were my buddies. Mm -hmm. But to pay tribute to them and then talk about my life in a very self-effacing way. You know, not a serious thing, but a self-effacing way. And I think 95 was the year I, I'd come up with the idea. The thought process, although I never did the show in 95, 96, the way I had it in my head as a tribute to these guys, but however, it took shape and form as a kind of an inadvertent tribute to August Wilson because I would do a lot of his, his stuff. And um, then I said, well, why don't I incorporate something called From Jail to Yale, Serving Time on Stage, do a narrative of my life interspersed with all the great characters that I've played in the August Wilson plays as well as other great playwrights. And that's when it really went from an idea of paying tribute to buddies and my time in prison. And uh, because the original idea was not a heavy thing. People would think I would get up there and talk about the penitentiary. But I was going to actually talk about how much fun uh, I had and the belly laughs and the genuine belly laughs I had in the penitentiary dealing with the characters that were in there, you know, and how we started a drama group in prison. Then it formed into something else from when talking about my life uh, from jail to Yale. And then once that section was over, to actually perform the scenes from August Wilson, from Shakespeare, from uh, Douglas Turner Ward, and on and on and on, the many playwrights. But the message in the piece, to me, is about perseverance, is about discipline and endurance. Now, without either of those three things, you don't go anywhere in life, you know. It's really aimed at the business person. It's aimed at uh, the lay person. It's aimed at the, the, the everyday John who gets up and go to work. You know, those three elements, discipline, perseverance, and endurance. You know, so on one, but on one hand, it is about saying to yourself that I believe in myself and that I'm gonna achieve regardless of the obstacles. I like actually surprising white audiences and shocking black audiences in, when talking about Shakespeare because they think it has nothing to do with us. However, one of, and arguably the greatest, but at least one of in that particular period in the 19th century, one of the greatest Shakespearean actors of all time was an African American. Ira Aldrich, who left the United States in 1823 and went to the United Kingdom and then the rest of Europe and was the toast of the European continent for the next 40 years. I just thought that this kind of show fit into a curriculum that the National Urban League was trying to convey or work on.